Hey guys, just an update here on our DIY off-grid solar. Uh, it's about half past eight in the morning. As you can see, the sun is just barely popping up. And this is what it looks like now. Since a couple of months, I upgrade my, my roof, my solar system. This is off-grid. 48 volt I think they are probably 7 kilowatt now and as you can see on our previous video there I have 1.5 kilowatt here they are 100 watts each panel and they're 18 volts open circuit but I upgrade to this massive um, 360 watts um, each and I think this is 7 kilowatt now I haven't done it properly yet as you can see it's still timber but uh, I'm going to replace this soon soon as possible I had my my aluminium rail now so that's just for temporary but this one is 190 watts if I remember um, and there are probably 30 volts open circuit so by the way, this ray here, it's on one solar charger controller and this is on one solar charger controller. So before, on our previous video, we only have one solar charger controller. Now, I extend another one, so if you're planning to add another ray, you just have to have another solar charger controller. So this is maximized now on my solar charger controller. Um, by the way, that one there, it's not working. I haven't hooked up that one. And that one. And this one. So, I don't know if you can see here. It's 365 watts. Um, open circuit voltage is 47.93. So... What I do here is I string into 3 to make it reach to 100 volt. My solar charger controller can accept uh, 150 volts max. So I string into 3 just to be able to make that uh, uh, 150 volts. Not into max but um, yeah. Uh, free. Another free over there and three over here. So that gives me into maximize my solar charger controller. Um, this is another breaker here. On our previous video, it's a bit messy. So now I try to tidy up, and I add another one string of wire, positive and negative. And this one, I string into four because I think they are just 30 volts or yeah, 30 volts. Uh, roughly so I string into four in, just to make it into my solar charger controller and I've put fuse in the middle just for preventing reverse current uh, I explain that later but uh, yeah so this is what it looks like now I try to maximize my my roof so it's not hot and the time is just half past eight in the morning we are here right in the middle in the bush so as you can see we don't have power line everything appliances here is plugged into solar so now we'll see how much we are harvesting uh, it's just uh, eight in the morning so we go downstairs Sorry for shaking video, but yeah, that's how it looks like now. They are pretty big and heavy, and just by myself lifting up that, bring it into roof. So I used to have experiment here. That's just about the my size of my old uh, previous solar panel. They are just hundred watts. So I get rid of them. So we go inside. 
my DIY house is still not finished so, so this is how it looks inside that's my old um, Outback um, Flexmax 80 solar charger controller still working and I found another one here it's Plexmax Outback as well. It's um, 60 amps MPPT. They both MPPT. So I just open it up and just clean. Just give it a little bit clean. It still work. So planning this to install somewhere. So at least I have 80 amps and 60 amps. So that's my morning star before since I was starting building this house. So it's been hit by the lightning. I don't have a lightning protector before so anyway this is how it looks like now the cable underneath of this is battery uh, if you see on our previous video how big is my battery they are 12 volts string together just to make it 48 volt so I have a bit experiment there that's just um, 12 volts if auxiliary if I want to plug any 12 volts Anyway, um, this is my solar charger controller. It's an extruder brand, and this is the inverter. 48 volt, 4000 watts. <clears throat> so pretty much you can consume up to 4000 watts continuous with this inverter, and it's a pure sine wave inverter. So the good thing on both all the same brand is the communication cable is just talk together. All these appliances is um, device talk together so I have my circuit breaker here for PV side and also circuit breaker 100 amps uh, 100 amps solar um, um, charger controller and this is for 200 amps for my inverter so yeah it's it's charging as you can see the light is blinking it's almost 30 amps charging it be if it if becomes solid it goes to 40 amps and so on and so forth so this is another one so these are my other ray of solar so she so open inside this is what it looks like inside pretty simple just put the solar PV and battery and the dip switch is if you configure it into automatic as soon as you hooked up the battery the solar charger controller will um, recognize what um, um, voltage system you have so as of mine now it's 24 uh, 48 volt so I put it on 48 volt but this solar charger controller can do automatic as well 12 24 and 48 volt so that's what looks like inside um, battery PB communication so communication is communicate this one and that one so to put it on the display I will go there in a minute but yeah this inverter I'm going to replace soon up to 8000 watts so just tune in I uh, post another video how I'm going to replace this up to 8000 watts because uh, as you can see on the consumption on my house I upgrade my aircon as well this is inverter type uh, aircon not like before we have the old one so one aircon there and here's another aircon over there and I have another aircon in the room so I'm planning to put one more aircon upstairs but this if I run all aircon at the same time my inverter probably goes into maximum so as you can see here I just turn on the aircon at the moment now it's just only consuming 200 watts so it's, that's the inverter so I put the temperature down Let's see if we can it should go up the wattage so you can see how pretty good the inverter is no cranking it's just slowly the voltage rising up I mean the wattage rising up 
So I think the compressor it's it's ticking now, but it's just the wattage. Uh, as you can see how I wired it before, that was from here, and this is the to sense the wattage, and I have my old power meter there. So that's the number, by the way. That's the number since I start this meter. So look at how much it's it's consumed now for the past how many years so still not rising up maybe the compressor just start to kick in just 100 watts I have two fridge and freezer and let's say we switch on this one I think yeah switch it on that one and see how much so we have two aircon now so one over there and one on the other side so um, this up you can go up to up to 4000 watts and imagine I'm upgrading this to 8000 watts so because I'm charging my electric um, Nissan Leaf so I need more power and I can't use all my appliances at the same time so see the inverter is slowly cranking up there's two aircon now it's running at the same time it's just about 200 watts and it that's the beauty of inverter aircon it's just slowly cranking up the wattage not like the old uh, type uh, aircon as you can see how really good they are so anyway um that's just for now i'll keep you update if i'm going to replace this inverter anyway i'm going to replace that but um yeah just tune in subscribe to our channel um for those of people comment just comment below and yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for all of our subscriber thank you very much for tuning us to our channel and yeah, hope to see you again. Bye.